Hello everyone, welcome to Indian School of Physics. So here is a problem. Uh, there are uh, three identical spheres A, B and C. Uh, a approaches B and C and collides symmetrically. It has been observed that ball A re retraces its path with one fourth of the in incident momentum. If the coefficient of restitution is half, then what will be the fraction of energy lost in this situation and also find the impulse acting on each. So this is the uh, situation given to us. So there are these three ball A, B and C. So initial momentum of uh, ball A is given and uh, this is the situation before collision. So as ball A approaches and uh, hits the ball B and C symmetrically, then we see that uh, ball B and C are moving symmetrically with the outgoing momentum P1. Let's call these uh, corresponding velocities as V1 and it retraces back with the one fourth of the momentum. So initial momentum if uh, speed is uh, uh, v0 initial momentum is mv0 and it is returning back with the one fourth that means outgoing velocity of ball a is going to be v0 by 4 let's do the impulse analysis and uh, here these are the impact lines during the collision impulsive forces are acting on uh, them and these impact lines uh, are the lines along which we have to apply definition of e and these are the impulses acting on ball a and c also, we can see on uh, ball A and B. Similarly, this kind of uh, impulse is acting on uh, these balls. Magnitude is going to be same because of uh, action reaction pair. So now here you can see this is going to be the resultant uh, impulse of uh, J here and J here. This angle is uh, 30 degree because uh, centers if you join, it is going to form a uh, equilateral triangle. So this angle is 30, this angle is 30. This is the place where students normally make mistake and they somehow take 45 degree, 45 degree angle. So you need to be a little careful here. After this, on each ball, we are going to apply impulse momentum uh, theorem, which uh, says J is equal to P final minus P initial. So you can see here on first ball, when we apply, I'm assuming this direction is positive leftward on ball A and here outward normal is going to be positive direction. So you can see clearly this J is MV1, which is P1 and J is MV1, which is P1. Symmetrically, we are writing. Similarly here, incident velocity is, uh, <coughs> incident momentum is MV0 and outgoing momentum is MV0 by 4. So P final minus P initial if we apply and I'm taking this direction as positive. So plus 2J cos 30 P final is also plus minus of minus P naught. So when we simplify these uh, equations, we can solve it uh, uh, for V1 and V naught, but we will need one more equation here and that is uh, definition of E. So let's rearrange these uh, equations and you can uh, see clearly how it is. And after this, I'll try to write uh, definition of E along the impact line. So let's bring those uh, impact lines uh, again, coefficient of restitution. So this is the impact line and uh, similarly we can write for another one. Since symmetry is present, any one impact line we can uh, take here and we will be writing <coughs> before and after collision uh, situation. So you can see this is before and this is after uh, collision situation. Let's draw the velocity vectors on each and I hope you can easily see these velocities. Now before collision, let's uh, write the value of uh, V approach. So you know V approach is going to be because other two balls are at rest and this is how the velocity along the impact line, incident velocity along the impact line is V0 cos 30. So V approach is going to be, you can see here, V approach is going to be V0 cos 30 and V0 root 3 by 2. V separation when we are writing, you need to be very, very careful here. Uh, this blue ball is moving away, B is moving away along the impact line itself, whereas A, A is moving along the initial direction, initial line of motion in opposite direction. So component of V0 by 4 along the impact line, so V0 by 4 cos 30 and both are in opposite direction. So here I can write that velocity of separation is going to be V1 plus V0 by 4 cos 30 degree. So this is how we write, uh, this is how we write V approach and V separation let's write uh, definition of e now v separation by v approach and this is equivalent of uh, half which is given in the problem to us 
आई होप द सिचुएशन इज क्लियर टू एवरी वन लेट्स मूव फर्दर एहेड एंड ब्रिंग दोज ओल्ड इक्वेशन ऑल्सो ही Now these are the equations. If we solve, we'll get all the unknowns uh, present in this three equations, three unknowns. We can simplify them. Let's move ahead and uh, <coughs> heat losses in uh, this situation. I can write it as k initial minus k final. So k initial is known to me half m v not square, and k final uh, ball a will have one fourth. Uh, of initial uh, speed so half m v not by 4 whole square whereas uh, ball b and c are going to have equal kinetic energy half m v1 square plus half m v1 square i'm writing double of this so fraction of energy loss delta h by h i can write as k initial minus k final by k initial i hope this part is clear to you so uh, we know the value of uh, v1 we have calculated so all this uh, can be calculated we know the impulse also so this is how finally balls will be moving it so guys if you have enjoyed this video please leave a like uh, share this video with others and trust me physics will never be the same again thank you thanks for watching this video i'll be coming up again with the another video soon thank you